Hey guys, Adam with .com Reps. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about some of the words that can get you restricted for use on Amazon unless you have the proper testing and certificates from a government body stating that you are legally able to make those claims. Um, so the most infamous word is uh, bacteria and um, post-pandemic disinfectant that can get your product or detail page flagged for removal if you include those terminologies but do not have the proper testing certification. Um, some other words include fungus, antifungal, antibacterial, uh, toxic. We've seen the word healthy become a problem. Um, uh, germs, right? So you see where I'm going with the types of words um, that Amazon does not want to see unless you have the proper testing. Uh, if you have those words and you need to remove them because you don't have tests, what we're going to do is walk you through the steps to complete uh, that update, refresh the ASIN, print case, and you should be good to go. So first we've navigated over to the catalog menu and then uh, add products via upload. That's where we are here. You're going to want to look for the template that is tied to the subcategory of your ASIN. So if you're selling soap, you pull that up as an example, um, and hand washes, you're going to download that template, generate it, uh, open it up, fill out your model number, UPC, the title, your bullets, your product description, and do a full update on the ASIN via this file and then re-upload it here. Uh, under upload your spreadsheet. When you fill out the file, you're going to want to take the existing catalog data and subtract or substitute any of the words such as mold, bacteria, mildew, fungus, antifungal, antibacterial, what have you. Um, after that, you should be left with a title, product description, and bullet features that do not include those words and have substitute words for the full update. That's the only way the item is going to get reinstated. Uh, again, you're going to upload that here, process the file, check your upload status. If it's shown as successful, you go up to the help menu. You're going to go to case log or uh, I should say you're going to go to get support and you're going to create a case. Give them the batch ID for the upload on the full update. Tell them that you have done a full update in the ASIN, that you would like reinstatement, you've removed such and such words from the listing. If that still doesn't work, there could be other words in the listing that you didn't catch that are on the the boo boo list. Um, and I've made a blog post which I'm going to include at the bottom of this video that has some of those additional words that Amazon does not like. Um, but that's the process. So keep removing words until you uh, have fixed the problem. Now, if you have a kill test, you're going to want to tell Amazon, "Hey, I can use those words, and I do have an EPA registration number, and here they are." And they'll tell you where to upload those certifications, and that will get the ASIN also reinstated. A third option would be you wait, you go and get those tests, which could take 30, 60 days, and you go back to Amazon and ask for reinstatement now that you're fully legal and you can use those words in your listing, right? You, that's if you want to use and you have to use um, based on keyword relevance and importance, um, you know, bacterial, antibacterial, what have you. So those are your, your, your three options for resolution. And um, you do have an advantage uh, for, for using those words. I've pulled up you know, a, an ASIN here where we can look at where they, they're using antifungal, antibacterial, and uh, fungus. And if you're scratching your head wondering, well, how come they can do it and I can't do it? It's 100% it's because they have a test and you do not. Um, there, there is uh, scraping tools that Amazon uses to flag ASINs automatically by default. Honestly, within hours of a new ASIN getting created that has those words, but no test tied to the ASIN on the back end. So any of these listings, for example, we'll, we'll show you the results page. They all have antibacterial, antiseptic, it's another word. Um, any of these listings that are using these words, disinfectant, they all have supplied testing. And you can see these are generally the bigger companies. 
For a smaller company, it may not be feasible, the test could be very expensive, um, or a just confusing process. But um, that's the only reason why these companies can make these claims, and you cannot. So if you want to ride the coattails, these high traffic keywords that are for killing germs and bacteria, go get yourself a test, otherwise pull those words out. Um, hopefully this video has been brief, um, but succinct enough to where you know what to do, how to navigate this problem. If you have any questions, reach out to us.com reps and leave some comments or questions below and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.